Вот. Hello, Skyclan. Let's see, we have a bunch of conversations. The of yours has been a waste of our time. We should leave for slain. The purifiers will be a useful addition to our forces. I would hardly call this an errand. Yes, but as we already discussed, you chose to give them freedom, hoping that they will do as you command. Do not presume to lecture me about my decisions, Tal Darim. But I so enjoy our exchanges. I enjoy it. I enjoy your little boy. These purifiers have joined our army, Hierarch. It seems they are willing to serve you. For now. I answer the call. What does this do? The skies await. So what's the difference? Steals bonus to light units. Yeah, I will take these ones. Amon's presence within the Kala grows stronger. He is becoming harder to resist. You risk much for this, Rohana. He believes all suffering, all conflict results from the Zelnaga's infinite cycle. That it must end. Yes, he has made this clear. But you see only the surface. Underneath, a silent hatred roils within him. A prideful resentment that would see all worlds burn. The hybrid are the true face of Amon. He wishes not only for the Zelnaga's creations to be set aside, but for them to suffer. Time to kick his ass. I've been analyzing the purifier bodies en masse. Their systems function more effectively when in proximity to each other. Outlying protocols can be offloaded to unoccupied cores. What does any of that mean, Carax? Their data web was designed to replicate the sense of the Kala. They are connected to each other. Interesting. Yes, however, it is a synthetic representation. There is no emotional wave. The engineers who built them could not imagine how they could ever be seen as Protoss without the light of the Kala. If only our ancestors could see us now. We have achieved okay. an incredible feat, friend Phoenix. Phoenix? I have been thinking more upon that name. It is the moniker of another. I do not believe I should use it any longer. I am not he. Phoenix was the bravest warrior I have ever known. He faced terrible odds and emerged victorious. Slayed enemies the likes of which most cannot even comprehend. And yet, you have proven to be of equal bravery. He would have been honored that a warrior such as you bore his name. And so am I. 
Your words honor me, Hierarch. But one day, I must find my own path and my own name. Can we do something in here? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go to Slain. It brings me great joy that the purifiers have chosen to join the Daylob. But there is still the matter of the Taldarim. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. Let's do this. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. So what you gonna do, troll him off your ship? I wish to know more about this Rakshir. Your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. Our scouts are reporting the Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. That makes sense. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, there is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. 
Okay. After all of that, we're ready to play some game. No problem. We will take them down. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done. What is that strange fog? Terrazin. It flows in cycles through the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here, yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Avalak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Exactly. The Terrazine will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faith Smith. We will make good use of them. We need more minerals. Spooky. That was easily taken care of. Slowly getting there. One more after this, and then we have full mining ca capacity. Plus we have a good army on our side. Oh, 
no. There's another one? I didn't see that. I didn't see it. That's my type of guy. I want to see them die slowly and painful. You must construct additional pylons. I was able to scan the Taldarine motherships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. Of course he won't. Why would he? He doesn't give a shit anyway. Maybe I should pick up a little bit more. I done. Gotta start creating an assault force. I do have a forge. Okay. Could use two more stargates. Warp in some additional reinforcement. Guess they should be fine. Okay. Warping a little. Yeah, good, good. Just 
systems at war. Ik kuda anai. Hmm. Good, deal with it. Let's check what's over here. I see a little bit of Vespin. Okay. Well, we should be able to do this. And clear this thing out. Okay, from now on we have three play on these guys, so that's good. Lucky for us, we have a bunch of ships to aid us. In the meanwhile, we shall finish this base off and be done. Oh my god. Retarded stalkers, come on. Good. Okay. Let's get the next one. Because we have to. Good. Got those. Get this one, get this one. Systems at 
Maybe I should deploy some reinforcements. I think this should be good enough. Shouldn't be taking my complete army. The fog gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you're so inclined. Your oh God. is greater than we believed, firstborn. Get that one down. Good. Oh, another guardian has fallen. What a thrilling sight. If it is so thrilling, why not join us? I'd rather skip out of it, you know. So you can do all the work for me. Build one over there. Build two more pylons. Well, that doesn't work. Pylon. Warp in some additional forces. Good. We got a good bunch of army. Next step, take the mothership. That one's dead. Enemy ships have set a course 
for our nexus. You should have everything now, Faith Smith. Thank you, Hierarch. I shudder to think of what they were planning to do with it. Good. We're going to be taking out this one. It's only limited to one or something. Ah. It can't get out. That's great. Good. This should be enough for now. Go, 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 go! I should be having enough ground units. can sense the lie in that fucking guy's voice. But I guess desperate times calls for desperate attempts. Got them. The fog gathers, Artanas. Make your preparations if you are so inclined. Good. Good. We should be having a good amount of army. Let's go. We have a good amount of defense as well. Yes, I will. You go to your death, Alarak. Your dark god will destroy you. I 
have heard enough of his lies. Good. Time to kill him. <laughs> 